when you are ready to do your research for the literary analysis, you will go from the Blackboard page to the Wallace State homepage. Then you will click on Library. And then from this list, you will choose Alabama Virtual Library. And you are in college, so choose college and university for the types of sources you need. And then this ribbon gives you selections of different types of research you might be doing. And this is English class, so literature and language. And now you have all of these different databases. And instructors will, will often tell you, oh, use Gale or use a certain one. Um, well, you can see there are four different Gales here and they will produce different results. So I have found the best one is Gale Literature. That doesn't mean the other ones don't have some good sources. Uh, but this one is most reliable when I'm looking for college level research on a work of literature. So click on Gale Literature. And then you have your bar where you can search. All right, so I have four sources here. Um, these are full text documents, yay. Peer reviewed journals would also be good. So we got one. Um, this looks like maybe, ooh, it's a long one. So it might be a good one to use, but it looks more like, it looks like a big concordance, a concordance shows you where something is mentioned in several different uh, works, which is useful when you are talking about intertextuality. So let's unclick this one. Um, these are also good journals. English language notes uh, might be good. Studies in short fiction. Um, that's the one we just looked at. So let's just look at what the explicator has to say. It says critical essay. So let's take a look. So yeah, this looks like a perfectly good source that I could use to find something that I can argue with or argue against. Um, you want to be in conversation with experts. So there is one. And symbolism, if your focus is symbolism, that might be a great place to start. Um, so you have a good source here as well. Now, when AVL gets frustrating, I know you'll be inclined to simply go to a standard search engine and type in the same thing. But you're not going to find scholarly sources here. Um, so I have summary or e-notes. That is not an acceptable source. Here's just the whole uh, story printed out. Um, this one might be interesting to read to help me understand what I might want to write about in my paper, but I can't really use this one as a source, a scholarly source at ensign.com. We generally want to stay away from those. Um, so you want to make sure that you are using sources that are, are good for your research. So uh, make sure that you give AVL a shot first. And really, if AVL doesn't produce good research for you, Call the library or email them. Tell them what you're researching. 
Tell them what your requirements are and ask them if they can help you find something. They may be able to find a book in the actual physical library. And if you're not able to go there, they could scan the pages for you and email it to you, which is great. Uh, make the librarians your friend. Uh, they can really help you out with your research. So make sure you have that number and be ready to call and get some help with your research as needed. Also, the tutoring lab is a good place to go uh, for help with research, but the librarians, they're excellent and, and they will be so happy to help you. One other thing I wanted to be sure to show you is how to access the Works Cited using Alabama Virtual Library because they are great. They make the Works Cited so easy to do. So, um, so let's say I'm just researching the author um, and it just started pulling up a lot of Ralph Ellison information. So uh, when I am looking at my article, once I've clicked on my article, I can go to site and they give me a list of different formats. These are the formats. You want to find MLA format. And this is it, that's your work cited. So just copy that and paste it to your Word document. Now, if you paste it in some ways, you'll have to go back and make sure that the name of the journal is italicized. Make sure there are no all caps, except EBSCOhost, that's a database and that's an acronym, so you could leave that one. But for example, if the every title or every word in the title of the article were capitalized, you would want to revise that. Also make sure that you have last name, comma, first name, and here initial for this case, uh, of the author. And if there is no author of your article, then you just start with the article title in quotation marks. So uh, good luck with your research. And again, ask the librarians to help you if you feel like you're not getting the kind of research at the level it needs to be for a college level essay.